Hello, Spidey, everyone. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna tell a story after dinner. First, I will deliver it in the English version, then I'll translate it back to Laos. I hope you stay for that. I'm sure it'll be worth it. All done, friend. Pidong, and a Silao story, Silao and a Litana Fang, no? Like a Lang Dakin Kao, Silao Hai Fang. Give you some view here. Hai Bung view, I don't know. I get the satisfaction of cutting the grass the other day. Yeah, we still in the lockdown and I uh, haven't get a chance to uh, cut my hair. It's getting kind of long. Nobody will accept you right now. We have to allow not. Get cut, put that nick about it. Put me out, Lila. Yeah, I have to finish cutting the grass. It's good satisfaction for sure. This apple tree right here and the pear trees over there, the, the little one. Hi, could I get six of these? Yeah, sure. Do you want to now? No, just grab it for me. Thank you, you too. Thank you, there's no lineup today. What a Lientar Kao, no? At the Chinese supermarket again. It's kind of busy today a little bit because it's Saturday. The sound of it on. Uh-huh. 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 U
Got my basil here for the clam, should be nice. Clam here, got the clam. Mickey, what I'm not being on, no? Clam, just like spatkin. And still fry that. Got my tripe here back home. And I soak that. Water, keep it fresh before I get to it. Before anything, you gotta get the rice ready. 
water, soak, wash. Fresh ginger here today. You can tell when you peel it, it's soft. Fresh ginger, and I use that. I wanted to use a red pepper, but I forgot it at the market. So we're gonna go with tomato that would add some more taste. I mean, no, I'm gonna one cow no pino no. Some la pat no. More tastier with the tomato. Then go with uh, the white onion today. Make it a little bit sweeter. And also the green onion. My garlic's almost ready. I got all my herb, my spice, uh, ginger, garlic, everything ready here. It's ready. Give that a stir, like always. I'm going a little bit fusion today. Cayenne pepper in there, oyster sauce, and Thai chili right here. Should be good. My sauce is pretty much in there. Um, oyster sauce, cayenne powder, Thai chili and of course the pineapple chicken canola just a little bit of it not too much because I got my oyster sauce in here in this one here and the starch ready to go today because uh, I was gonna go with the satay sauce but I don't I don't have the um, the, the paste today so I'm gonna go with my own um, little recipe here should be all right. Nice, colorful for sure. Hot here, and uh, I will be adding the oil. Side of no. Okay. Yang batan hon kag tia batan side ang katiyam pinong. Rice is all done. Katiyam kag pay chip chip kag pay balik. Fold it a little bit. I will put my white onion in there. And the pineapple. Then I go ahead and put my clam in here. I can smell it already. Nice. And the next one I would use my tomato. Tomato in there. The heat's up high right now. A bit walk by nothing up in on steam get to the clam there. My come lungs ah you know open up opening up a bit right now. See there my sauce. There we go. Still going. And now for my chicken canor. There we go. See there, it's opening up a bit there. I'm gonna add my basil now. Lots of basil, cause I like the green.
Mmm, what a nice aroma. Oh, I didn't remove that one from the stem. Oh, hom deep, you know. Butter, butter, butter. Lots of black pepper. I love black pepper. Take them now. Side I love the starch. I gotta put the starch in now. My sate still fry clam. Let's eat. I got my duck here as well. Come and join me everybody. I made this just for you. Got it fresh from the market today. Gotta to cook it up right away. They mommy might up in on I know. Okay friend, let's dig in. Mm. Very nice on jasmine rice scented. Perfect, lots of sauce here for it. Get out of the shell. Mm. <clears throat> nice. So fresh. Better than the freezer stuff for sure. My empty shell in there. Lots of veggie here. Got tomato plus the basil. Very nice. Sweet. I can still taste the ginger, very nice. Say I'm deep in our windsort. I'm the lot side put here, but it came light. I didn't make it too salty. So it's just perfectly. And you know, with these uh, clam, they have a little bit of saltiness to it already. And of course, the pineapple would just balance it out too. Mm. Nice. Picked it out myself, so I um, guess I'm pretty lucky I didn't get any bad one. Would be unlucky to get a few bad ones in there. Um, unlucky would be getting the the bad one in there. You can see when it's fresh. If it doesn't uh, open at all, then you know you're not gonna go for that one. Plus, I got my duck here. Just warm it up too. Can't go without that. On the weekend, gotta have it. Duck barbecue, duck. Just so tired of chicken all the time. So duck is nice. Yeah, I've been I've been wanting to do the seafood for you for a while now. So finally. Fortunate. 
this is one of my favorite uh, seafood dish one of my favorites so I like to cook this one a lot of time in the restaurant you would pay you would end up paying at least close to thirty dollar for a dish like this I guess it varies from restaurant to restaurant so I picked it up under ten for one one bowl just enough there are plenty there friends See, I've been working on that. Plus the barbecue duck, yes. Still steaming hot, yeah. I've been enjoying this. Glad you can be here, friends. Enjoy with me. Oh, I'm sad, you know. ดิฉันก็ได้พี่น้องนะมูมี่บอลข้าวเลยเพราะว่าเพิ่งมีกระเทียมเพิ่งมีอะไรอ่ะอัดกิ้งเนาะพี่น้องเนาะสดๆอี
เทนแล้วสิบตัวที่บอพี่น้องกระตูใหญ่ดีสปิดดิบเบ็กนอตทูชายนี่เนาะไอเมดเดอะไรช์ชอยส์ออฟยูซิงเดอะทูเมโรดีและใส่บักเลนเนาะพี่น้องนะแหงรั่ววันเก่าโซ่ผมจะแค่ให้ผมมีอีกหนึ่งปีสุดท้ายแล้วเราจะไปถึงเรื่องราวโอเคพร้อมแล้วครับนี่คือโซ่ดีที่สุดที่มีอยู่ที่นี่ไม่สามารถทำให้เสร็จได้ทุกอย่างแต่ I can always save it for later. Take it to lunch, something. Still steaming. The Laotian people's house, you always gotta have the sticky rice here, basket, regardless what I'm having. So today I had the scented rice, yeah. Khao chao no, pinong no. Tip khao gan yang yuan yu. Yim lao pinong ei. This is good. Not just complimenting um oneself here, but I had some experience in um in a restaurant, so uh, the ingredients I put in balance out well. Um, tastes very good. Nice taste. I wish you could taste it with me. Tastes really good. I won't complain that it's too salty or too sour or anything like that. Just nice. Oh, a couple more piece of duck here, and I'll be telling you the story. I'm just gonna use my hand now. One more piece of duck. Hmm. <clears throat> Not gonna overdo it today. Let's go to the story. <clears throat> Thank you. So fortunate. Now we're gonna go to the story. Okay. Something good or something that's gonna add value to um, hopefully all of you. We wanna share it and I'm sure it would be okay for everyone to enjoy and share. Tell a story. So we're gonna do that. And uh, I hope you uh, stay and enjoy it. I'm sure it'd be worthwhile. The English format or English version, then I'll translate it back to Laos. Here goes. To it. Um, so this story is uh, about <clears throat> it's about good karma and uh, seeing things in a different perspective, a different point of view, different light. Um, it's a little bit more of a myth, um, more of a legend type of. Uh, a story here and now uh, he's been baking all his life he's very poor so as you not living well the beggar he's not so healthy and so he's pretty hungry and uh, he set off in the morning um, go out to the street and beg the monk for some rice and the monk comes around every morning um, within the community and this uh, the community, the, the people that goes out there and offering um, to the monk that's uh, in the Lao tradition back home and uh, I think it's called the morning home and uh, I'm sure that's what it's called so he begged for some rice for the monk he got the rice, he went back to his place and before he even get to eat or anything a mouse came out and ate his rice stole the rice from him and uh, he asked the mouse, why you steal from me? I have nothing to eat. Why did you steal my rice? And the mouse talk, of course. Um, the mouse replied that, well, why don't you ask the riches why I steal from you? 
or why I even and the mouse said why don't you ask the riches the rich people why I didn't steal from them that's what the mouse said so now he's got something on his mind now he's he, he want to ask why um, because he's been poor all his life and, and he's been questioning himself why is he so poor so he got hungry again because the mouse ate his rice and he went back out to the street the next day and uh, meet the monk again back for the rice again and then he said he's gonna go on a mission and ask the question why he's so poor all this time all he remember his life is he's always been so poor so he's gonna go on a mission to ask um, why so with with that in mind the monk told him well you would have to ask the high priest the high monk and now uh, ask the question you wanted to ask but you also should ask a question for me the monk said and that is why am I living for 200 years and haven't gone to heaven yet why am I still carrying my um, cane and living for 200 years haven't gone to heaven so he said okay um, the beggar said I will ask the high priest high monk for you why that is so he set off he's on the mission he set off and, and he want to get all the answer and uh, it's late it's been traveling all day it's raining and stormy at night time and he need a place to stay and he also very hungry too and he went to knock on the door of this big house this big mansion a rich man came out opened the door without question he said come on in come on in and I will feed you I will take care of you so he stayed there for the night and they, they had a, a talk um, the rich man said my daughter's been born um, um, and she's been blind ever since then I am worried about her I want her to get married so I, I don't know why that is but of course that's in in the story it's not the modern day so um, no no doctors required in this story so he said where you where you going where you off to the travelings you know late at night like this and the beggar said well I'm off to uh, ask the main um, high priest the high monk why he is so poor so then of course the uh, rich man would want to know and having the question why his daughter has been blind all her life and don't get to see anything and she wanted to get married so would you please ask the highest priest or highest monk why his daughter is that way and he said okay I will do that for you and and I, he set off on his way the next day he come to the river or the ocean sea um, this big humongous giant turtle float up from the water and asked him the question where are you going and he said I need to cross the river I'm going to see the highest priest highest monk and then the turtle had a question too the turtle said well if you're gonna do that can you ask the question for me why am I still a tortoise in the water and haven't grow wings and fly off into the heavens yet and of course he said he will do that he will ask the question for for him for the turtle and then he um, rode on the back of the turtle across the water and finally he get to his destination and he come to the highest priest highest monk and before he even asked the question the priest the highest monk he already knew um, the question and he gave him the answer uh, answer you three questions not four because with with his question being why is he so poor and crippled all his life that would make four questions and not three so he can only answer three and then he got his answer and he sat back uh, he got to the turtle and the turtle said you got my answer and then he said yes I do and your answer is you are still in the water 
haven't grown wings or fly off into the heavens because you're still guarding your pearl down there. You have to let go of the pearl. So with that, he gave the pearl, the turtle, gave the pearl to the beggar, all of it. And then he grew wing and then flew off into the heaven. And then he get back to the monk. And the monk said, you got my answer. And he said, yes, I do. And the answer is, you are still walking on your cane because <clears throat> you haven't let go of the cane. And that's why you live for 200 years and you haven't uh, go to heaven. So for that reason, he gave the cane to the beggar and the cane is golden cane. So he's, the beggar is well off now. He's doing well now. And then the, the monk passed away and gone to heaven. And then one final um, person, he's going back to uh, the rich man's house, the mansion. And he got there. Before he even knock on the door or anything like that, a girl f come flying out from the house and said, here comes my lover. She opened up her eyes. She can see now. She's not blind no more. And um, she said to him, you are so kind, so generous, so thoughtful that you ask all the questions for everybody else except your own. You put everybody else in front of you. For that, I gotta marry you. And that's the end of the story, my friends. I hope you enjoy that story. Uh, it's about uh, good karma, um, seeing things in different perspective, uh, different light. Uh, when it's a good story, you want to be able to share, regardless. Um, when there's something good, you like to share it. So hopefully, uh, friend, you enjoy that and um, join me in the next video. Hopefully, you subscribe, like, and follow. So now I will. เราเราลิทาได้ฟังเรื่องบัณฑิตเนาะเรื่องต้นเรื่องบัณฑิตมีคนขอทานพูดหนึ่งเนาะอ่าพูดขอทานตลอดชีวิตเพิ่นกับอ
เกลตอบาผู้เขาทานตอบาโอเคเนาะอันนั้นสิตอสิถามไฮวาสันเพิ่งกับไปแล้วบบนี้มือไม้มาเพิ่งกับไปไปมาหอดหนาหนามเนาะหนาหนามมีเตาตัวยัยโผล่ขึ้นมาเตาแบบเตาหยักเพื่อนละโผล่ขึ้นมาก็เลยถามว่าเป็นยังอ่ะนะเจ้าสิไปทางไหนวะสันพูดเป็นเตาหันถามเพื่อนก็เล่าให้ฟังแล้วก็ว่าคนต้องขามน้ำแล้วก็อันนี้สิไปถามอาจารย์ใหญ่เนาะมาแล้วบริเตาหันก็เบาได้เพื่อนก็เลยถามว่าเจ้าถามอาจารย์ใหญ่ให้ข่อยได้เด้อวะสันอันนี้เป็นยังข่อยบุมีปีกแล้วก็บินขึ้นไปหาสวรรค์สันฝ่าถามให้แน่วะสันเพื่อนก็เลยว่าโอเคเอาขี่หลังเจ้าขามน้ำแล้วก็สิถามไฮวาสันไปหอดจุดหมายปลายทางปุ๊บอา,อาจารย์ใหญ่ออกมาแล้วก็ว่าคอยหุจักแล้วว่าจะมายังคอยมีคบตอบให้เจ้าบ้านแล้วแต่ว่าจะมีสี่คำถามหนึ่งเมนคำถามของเจ้าแล้วก็เพื่อนก็เลยตอบได้บทสี่เพื่อนบทอันนี้คำถามของคนอื่นมันมีความสําคัญก่อนเนาะสําคัญก็คำถามเพื่อนเองว่าเป็นยังเพื่อนคือถูกอยากแท้ก็เลยได้คบตอบจากอาจารย์ใหญ่บทสำหรับสามคนนั้นเพื่อนก็เลยกลับไปขึ้นกลับไปขึ้นแล้วก็ไปบอกอาดาไปหอดนาหน้าพันก็เลยเต้าพันโผล่ขึ้นมากระถามว่าจะได้ค้มตอบคอยอะไรบ่ว่าเป็นยังอ่ะนะคอยบทท่านมีปีกแล้วก็บินไปหาสันฟ้าอมาเลยเพื่อนว่าอาจารย์บอกว่าเจ้าพันยังห่วงอ่ะนะมุกจะยุจะบปล่อยมุกจะบปล่อยว่างมุกเจ้าพันเจ้าก็เลยบ่มีปีกบินขึ้นสวรรค์สันฟ้าบอดีเตาว่าโอ้โอเคเอาข่อยเอามุกขจะเบิดก็เลยเอามุกไข่ผู้คนถูกคนเบิดเลยและบอดีเพิ่นกาหนีปีกเลยกับได้ขึ้นไปสวรรค์สันฟ้าเนาะมาแล้วกลับไปหาอาจารย์ที่ว่าเพิ่นบอลเพิ่นตักบาทันอาจารย์ก็เลยถามว่าจะได้ค้มตอบพอเลยที่อาจารย์ถามคนเขาทานคนเขาทานกันเลยบอกว่าได้แล้วว่าเป็นยังเจ้ายูได้หอดสองรอยปีเจ้าบัวเดยไปอยู่สวรรค์สันฟ้าหันย้อนว่าเจ้าถือไม้คนเท่าเจ้าหันเจ้าบัวปล่อยว่างจักเถื่อถ้าจะปล่อยว่างไม้คนเท่าเจ้าจะขึ้นไปสวรรค์สันฟ้ามาเป็นเพิ่งเลยเอาไม้คนเท่าอะไรคนขอทานหันไม้คนเท่ากับไม้คนเท่าขับได้พี่หนองไหมเออวันนี้ผู้ทุกข์เดียกสิบทุกข์เลยนอกมาเลยเพิ่งกับเสียอะไรเพิ่งกับไปอยู่สวรรค์สันฟ้าเนาะวันนี้ไปหาผู้สุดท้ายมหาเศรษฐีกับลูกสาวเนาะไปหอดนาบ้านบ่ท่านได้เคาะประตูบ่ท่านได้นอกประตูผู้ยิ่งโผล่ออกมาจากนาประตูโอ้ที่หักข่อยมาแล้วว่ะสิเออดีใจร้ายตามืนขึ้นมืนตาขึ้นนอนเราเห็นใดละบันนี้ว่าโอ้ที่หักข่อยมาแล้วข่อยสแตงงานกับเจ้าเด้อเพราะว่าเจ้าเป็นคนดีที่สุดที่ว่าบริเห็นแก่โตเนาะอันนี้เอาคำถามผู้อื่นขืนก่อนเมื่อคำถามตัวเองก็เลยเพิ่นไปแตงงานกันกับยูนับกันกาจบเท่านั้นแหละพี่น้องเลยว่าว่าพี่น้องคือสิได้มักเรื่องนี้อยู่ไอ้บิลลี่สิพายามเอาเอานั่นเอานี่มาแบ่งปันกับพี่น้องมาแชร์กับพี่น้องตลอดถ้าว่ามีความคิดแนวใดสําหรับว่าต้องการเห็นแนวใดไอ้บิลลี่จัดให้ให้คอมเมนต์อยู่ทั้งรูมเหมือนเด้อพี่น้องเด้อเอาเท่านี้แหละพบกันใหม่เนาะพี่น้องเนาะขอบใจ thank you